Hi guys, it's Monica. I thought I would share with you a couple of the face oils I've been using. I've had a couple of people ask about them and so I said, yeah, you know, I think it'd be kind of cool to maybe talk about it. I love using face oils. I think I've been using some sort of a face oil for as long as I can remember. Now, when I was a kid, I, um, I used to use just baby oil on my face. And then at one point I went from baby oil to uh, mineral oil, yes, mineral oil, and then from there I went to coconut oil. So all my life I have been using some sort of a face oil even before I knew anything really about face oils. So, but recently, when I say recently, probably within the last year, I have really been exploring face oils and I have loved, loved using a vitamin E face oil and I actually have a face serum. It's a vitamin E with tea tree oil. I like this vitamin E and I just buy this in Marshalls. It is very rich, it is very thick, but it has a smell. I think it's the tea tree oil that has the smell but I absolutely love the vitamin E. I've always loved it. I think it's a great touch up. Now, when I, when I say a great touch up, a spa check, I have combination skin, dry and oily in the T-zone, and I use Retin-A. So my skin may react totally different than your skin, but the vitamin E, any vitamin E face serum, I have really liked for a long time. And my research that I've done, and I'm not, I'm not an expert, I'm not a skin specialist or anything of that nature. My research has consisted of Google and other YouTubers. So I've watched a number of videos, especially where some of the content creators, the ladies, the mature ladies in the community have talked about different face oils. I just, I love the feeling of a good face oil. I use and have used Kakai, Kakai oil, Kakai oil and or a rose hip oil, a cold press rose hip oil down my neck and into my decolletage area for, for quite a while. The cacao oil or cacao oil and the rose hip oil both contain vitamin A. So I have never used it on my face. I've never used those on my face, but I've always used them going down my neck and into my chest area and mixed with my Retin-A. I also use them on my hands. So I really, really like that. Recently, I have ordered, and I had been on back order for a long time, many of you might have heard me mention it, but I was on back order what seemed like forever with the Ordinary to get the Marula oil. I really love the Marula oil. It finally arrived. I have two bottles of it. It finally arrived. It is, it is a very thick, for me, oil, very rich oil. I really love it. I don't know if you can... I just really, it just is, to me there's maybe a slight, slight smell, but nothing at all. And I will tap, I'll probably look like a grease slick by the time this video is done. But I will frequently just tap my areas, especially around my eyes, where I think they'll be dry. And I've talked to you and mentioned many times that I sometimes have to do a drop of face oil in my foundations, even a rich foundation that has lift, like uh, the Boots Number no. 7 Lift and Luminate, I've had to add a face oil to it. My favorite It Cosmetic CC Cream Illumination, I usually have to add that. So I have, I absolutely love, I will tell you I love the Marula Oil. It is really nice. I also have from The Ordinary there, and I can never pronounce this, it begins with the S, the Square Line, Square Lean. This oil I find to be very light. I like it because it's hard to describe. When you put it on, like when I put the marula oil on, I know I'm putting marula oil. I can feel it on my face. It does take a while to absorb into my skin. It's extremely rich. When I put the squirrel, squirreling, I can feel it going on, but it absorbs into my skin a lot quicker. And I, I think it's, it's just a much lighter oil for me. I love it. And the, and the squirreling is excellent for a touch-up over makeup as well if you have dry patches like I do at times. So my marula oil, my squirreling, and I also got from The Ordinary their rosehip oil. So I'm not going to start really using this until I finish up the one that I'm currently using that I bought at TJ Maxx 
because I really like that a lot. So I'm going to finish that up and then when I do finish it up, I will just finish and continue to use the uh, the product from The Ordinary. The other oil that I like, and I bought this at TJ Maxx, I'm sure you can get it just about anywhere, but this is the Ho Hohoba, Hohoba, what a weird name, oil. This is extremely rich on my skin. I can really feel it. A little goes a long way. All of these oils, just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of drops of it on my skin is really all I need. So I'm loving the marula oil. I'm loving the squirreline from The Ordinary. And I also have from The Ordinary the rosehip oil. I haven't started to use it, but that's definitely going to be. And I don't use the same oil every day. I may just, I alternate. Whatever I reach for, whatever I feel like I can, you know, I want to grab that morning, I'll grab that morning. As you may have noticed I have these funny little letters written on here. You'll see the M if the camera's picking it up, the N. You know, when you get to be my age, these little labels mean nothing to me. So I have had to learn to put a big S, a big M for Marula, a big A for the Aragon, Araran, Araran oil. Otherwise, in the morning, without my glasses, I could be grabbing a bottle and just totally putting the wrong oil on my skin. So that's just my little my little way to be able to recognize what it is. And I have to put the end here for niacinamide because they they all sit in my bathroom vanity and I just want to be able to grab the right bottle of oil. So while I don't have a ton of oils, I do have, you know, four or five that I love a lot. The marula oil is definitely, I'm going to buy it again. In fact, I'm thinking of going into Desi, I'm into the ordinary and ordering it while I still have it so I don't run out of it. I really like it a lot. The other thing I wanted to mention is, and I'm late on the bandwagon, <laughs> what can I say? Colourpop. So I got two Colourpops. Um, in the last couple of months I got one in each of my boxy charms. I'm not a total fan of boxy charms, but the last two boxes have had a Colourpop lipstick in it. And I never touched it. I went, eh, you know, wasn't too sure. Then one day I put it on in the morning and, and I didn't like it. It came out too dark. I topped it off with my Rimmel 45. I tried to lighten it up, but I put it on the morning and I left and it was just an average day for me. So I left the house around eight o'clock and I got to the office and I had to teach a class. So I had like a three hour class. So from eight o'clock to about 12, 15, I was busy. I was talking, I was, you know, teaching a class. And when I got done the class, I went in the bathroom I said, holy cow, I still had lipstick on. Because normally I'm a lip sucker. I, I lick my lips. I, I you know, I'm, I'm always, I mean, there's no way. A 24-hour lipstick might last two hours on me if I'm lucky. I mean, truly, lipstick just comes right off. But I had these things, they, they were on my lips for hours. So this morning, I got up really super early. I got up about 5 o'clock, and I left the house at 6.30 in the morning. I drove to Massachusetts, I drank my coffee on the way down, and when I got to Massachusetts, I had to teach a class. So when I left the house at 6.30, I put the color pop on, and again, it's dark. I have, I really, I'm hoping I can find these in a store somewhere because I want to play around with the shades. And I put my Rimmel 45 over it, and then I put the white Russian, the little bit of white Russian gloss on it. I love that stuff. And I, then I taught the class. So, you know, I left the house 6.30, had all of that on. I got to the place that, that I was teaching at, and uh, I didn't do a touch-up at all. I went into my class. I had people coming in 8.30. I was greeting everyone. I was talking to people. 9 o'clock, my class started. My class ran until a little after 12. I had people waiting in line to talk to me. They had questions. So I had all these people asking me questions. It wasn't until probably close to about 12.30 that I was finally done and alone in the room, and I ran to the restroom. I still had lipstick on. From 6.30 in the morning without a touch-up. For me, that's almost... It's almost a miracle. Really, it's almost a miracle. So, yeah, ColourPop. I mean, who would have thunk it? What is it, like six bucks? I mean, I got them in my BoxyCharm, so I don't know what they really cost, but I don't think they're expensive at all. So I'm hoping I can find a color that I like. And I was going to do some vlogging this week, but I just, it's just been a hectic, hectic week. But in my vlog last week, I mentioned that I went to um, a Realtor, Realtor of the Year banquet and... Um, 
for the New Hampshire Association of Realtors, and at that event, they honor past presidents. So they had this display going, and you'll see Jay, and then a little bit later, I'm going to fast forward through this little clip, but you'll see me when I became president. So they had this, you know, because they honor your pet, the state association honors the past presidents at this event. And I'll put a picture, I'll show you me with my little corsage thingy. And they gave us these badges to wear. And this picture is a picture of me. This was my 2010 presidential picture. I actually had to wear this badge all night long. I was like looking at it and I was like going, ugh. But, you know, people were saying to me, and they're going, oh my gosh, Monica, you know, you, you look younger today than you did in 2010. And I was like, wow, okay, I have a heck of a lot more wrinkles. My face was a lot more fatter in 2010 than it is today because I've lost a lot of weight. And I have a hell of a lot more wrinkles nowadays than I did back then. But I still feel I looked a lot older back then. And I feel like I look a lot younger now. So and the, the other thing I talked about, my, my uh, jewelry coming in, my earrings. Well, I have them on. Aren't they beautiful? I absolutely love these, love these, love these, love these. So that's, that's really about it. Oh, um, Jay and I are going to go camping to the beach. So I'm going to be, I got my new camera. I'm filming this with my new camera. I'm still trying to figure it out. It's a little bit more complicated than I thought. But I'm going to be filming some video clips at the beach. I'm going to get up early, do some sunrises, some sunsets, and just really beating the heck out of my camera. Well, not really beating it, but beating it as far as using it and really adjusting to it. And um, yeah, so <laughs> kind of like... I didn't do as much vlogging as I wanted to, but it's just been a crazy week. But look out, beach is coming. So I think that's I think that's it. My face oils, ColourPop, my earrings. So hey, and if you hung in there all this time to the very, very end, thank you so much for watching the video and thank you so much for all your support. Thumbs up the video, leave me a comment, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't. And you know what? Even if you don't like the video and you want to give me a thumbs down, that's okay too. It always amazes me. Even my video with my mom got a thumbs down. I'm like, really? What is it you don't like about my mom of all people? I kind of felt offended for her. But anyways, it doesn't matter. So thank you all so much. And I will see you. I think maybe my next video will be from the beach. Bye, guys.